Hello folks, welcome to bsvtrainings.com. My name is Amit and today we are going to see case study number 44 in which I am going to show you how to use date function to find out date difference and by using date difference we are going to identify who are the active and inactive customers. The business logic behind this, there is a column called customer last visit date. The customer last visit date and current date, the difference between customer last visit date and current date is more than 90 days the customer is considered as inactive else customer is considered as active in simple word the, the customer we would like to filter out the customer who have not visited our store for last 90 days they will tag them as in, inactive and my promotional team start following at the customer with the different discounting policies so we are going to find out customers active inactive based on customer last visit date now here I use a date defense function you see date difference function is used to find out the difference between two dates the first argument of date difference takes the date part it could be year month or days and my column is last visit date and I use a function over here now which return the current date the difference between these two if it is more than 90 it is considered as inactive I convert this explicitly casting into integer and take a max value of it because customer may have multiple last visit date it's a it's this column is loaded considering uh, SCD2 therefore customer last visit date could be multiple values we like to take a maximum value of it if the condition is false we consider it as inactive I use a else if statement although we could have written only else let's see how to do this in the same fashion as I find active or inactive we could have found a customer number of customer who are active or inactive in a different region so let's see this uh, I have a column over here called customer last visit date I'll be using this column to find out customer active and active so I'm going to create a new computed field over here create calculated field we'll do this in two steps first I'll identify day count day count will tell me the difference between the current date and the customer last visit date so I'll use over here date difference function under function you find date difference date difference function takes three argument date part start date and end date every time you use any function make sure you know the how many argument passes date part could be month could be days and could be year double click and the first part would be days it comes under string it comes under single quotes day first part would be my date customer last visit date and second one would be now right so it will simply give me the number of days difference between number of days so let's test this first before proceed further I'll display number of customer in my rows along with the number of customer really huge for the sake of testing we apply filter on few customer so I'll take couple of customers over here and that's it then I see the day difference when was the customer visited to the shop the difference between day count and drag and drop leave it over here well I should leave it on my text so that I understand how many numbers are there so customer last visit date and the difference between last visit date and current date is these are dates I, it's taking some of it now we'll take this ma'am rather than taking some we need to find out the maximum value of it okay so anyway we'll take the count value expression take a value of it and use this to identify whether the customer is active or inactive I'm going to add another computed field, calculated field, and named it as is active. And I use the if condition to evaluate. First, I'll do the casting, integer, and then I'll take a max of it. Right? We'll take a max of it. And I check if value of this is greater than 90, then inactive else consider this as active that's it so expression seems to be some error let's check what's the error with the expression we'll check the number of we'll evaluate the number of parentheses parentheses seems not to be they are not balanced we'll count number of opening and closing parentheses so I see number of opening parentheses 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 opening parentheses 1 2 3 4 and closing is 
one, two, three. So we supposed to have one more parenthesis over here. Now the parentheses are balanced. Okay. This way you can find active and inactive customer. Let's put in another column or in text and see who cust how many customers are active and who is active, who is in inactive. So I'll simple remove this column day count and I'll check is active. I put in a text. I also put in a color. So we can see who is active, who is inactive. Right? In the same way, I could have changed this is active, inactive under is active. I added this expression. I'll copy this and create a new computer column. New calculated fill and active count. I could see number of customers are active. And rather than use inactive, I'll represent inactive as 0 and active as 1. And finally, we'll apply count on my computed major active count. And this way, will give me the numbers of customers active in a given region or not. So that's it for today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more videos. The next case study we are going to publish on applying SAT. Keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining today's session and have a great day ahead.